Tell me that's not Undine. Relax, Leo. Is it her? Is it her? Why? Who would do this? Max has gone missing since last night. What? You think Max did this? You are aware that Max is not good in the head. Man is gone. Trades problems for alcohol and drugs. That and... And what? I'm all fucking ears, man. Undine's injuries are strongly indicative of cybrid arts. What? Bullshit. Max didn't do this. He didn't. I mean, I know the guy had problems, but Jesus. No, no, this doesn't fit. Something's not right. This is Bulligan. Director, yes, I am here. Yes, terrible tragedy. Let us limit discussion of this within the Force. No release, no talking. We will clean up our mess. Yes, sir. Shoot to kill. Second verse, same as the first. We've got a new colorful city and new colorful asses to kick. I was attempting to show off that you can use the street sign as a weapon, in addition to throwing it. You can hit a large number of enemies with it, but it's not terribly strong. I'm not sure why you would do this instead of just throwing it. Now, in spite of Leo and Jack getting here at the same time, their missions are entirely different. So don't worry, there's no more over overlap from here on out. They even go to completely different parts of the city. And by completely different parts, I mean Leo goes to the right and Jack goes to the left. This is a kind of standard enemy we haven't seen as Jack yet. They can charge up a spinning tackle similar to how we can charge up a tackle of our own. That's their most dangerous attack. Other than that, they're fairly normal kill seekers. You get plenty of hint that they're going to attack because their swords flash ahead of time. It can still be easy to get caught up in their attacks if you're not used to kill seekers fighting back. I can't seem to decide when I'm going to show off the next mechanic I want to show off. I keep using it here and there and I get confused. We haven't seen these guys yet as Leo, but they're the same as they were when we played as Jack. Also the carts obviously explode almost instantaneously. I almost always get caught in the explosion. You usually can't dodge out of the explosion fast enough if you use a heavy attack. But I still use the heavy attack anyway, just because I want to. As was said before, the yellow dudes are the weakest of this location. And you can kill them just as easily as you could kill Seekers back in Altambra. With the reappearance of these guys, you might think the pattern is repeating, but it is in fact not. I want to do that just to show you that these guys will try and run all the way around the pillar to chase you like idiots. 
Even when you come up from behind. Using attacks that cover a massive area and just picking off the stragglers, that's generally the best idea for these guys. Also again, heavy power attack in the air, not to be underestimated. I'm always in the last 30 seconds by the time these guys appear, which is weird, because these guys are a new type of enemy. You figure if they were going to introduce them in this mission, they'd do it earlier. But no. There's nothing really special about them, to be fair. They just drop poison. They're kind of an evolution in the chain. The fire enemies deal damage to you, the ice enemies stop your mobility, and the poison enemies do both. Clan of the Crimson Dragon sounds familiar. I feel like we heard that just a bit. Oh, hey, there's a new mechanic. Holy crap, go back. This mechanic is called a shift combo. How it works is you place a slight delay between your first square press and the next one. It sends the enemy into the air. It's a way to juggle more, let's say, organically, and it can massively extend your combo. I said the first square press, but it can be during any square press. You can do a shift combo any point during the combo. Also, every character has a different one, but I like Leo's the most. Well, hello there, handsome. Huh? So tell me, what brings a Bureau of Public Safety agent from Mill Valen so far from home? Looking for someone. He's geared out like me. You seen anyone like that? Aya! Jijie! He looks so strong! Can I kill him, please? Yes. He is a stray dog, wandered away from his government. Killing him would be a mercy. Sha! I can kill him? Really? Such an impatient girl. Fine. Zoba! Yay! You're popular with the ladies, aren't you, Leo? And the Crimson Dragon, it seems. Who's she? Huh. Another one of the government mechanical pig dogs. They're so... uncivilized! Let's rip out its guts and see what it ate! Yeah! <laughs> Would you like me to go east then? <laughs> we are of course going to take the opportunity to play as Sasha again. Whenever story mode lets us play as another character, we'll do that. The strategy with Sasha this time is the same as it was last time. Meaning, we should stay back and snipe at them with our heavy power attack. Sasha attacks really fast, so it's easy to get her power meter full again with your normal combo. It's also very easy to get stunned on these electric signs, as I've been demonstrating for the past half minute. This is definitely a situation where you want to stay toward the middle of the arena at all times. Both Feyreen and Irene are decently fast, but I believe Sasha is just as fast as they are. She might be faster than Feyreen. The enemies have a habit of walking right into Sasha's heavy power attack. You're just not good 
Playing as Sasha again gave me the chance to demonstrate that her normal combo attacks are very fast, as you just saw. If there is a downside to using Sasha for this fight, it's that it's hard to aim her projectile on the slopes. But we've fooled around long enough, it's time to finish favoring off. I would button mash harder, but Anarchy Reigns has killed my PlayStation 3 controller and I'm afraid the buttons will implode. That may sound like a joke, but when practicing Anarchy Reigns for this recording specifically, uh... My PlayStation 3 controller went under some damage. I wouldn't hold this against the game or anything, I just played it way too much. We should not have lost! We've spared your lives. Now go. You don't tell me what to do! What, you want some more? You know how this is gonna end. Huh. Maybe he's right. Ivory! Woman Toba! Huh! Irene, no! <sighs> Back to work. Indeed. He's here. Somewhere. I know it. <laughs>